Hello my friends, a little bit of change of scenery. We are in my backyard today. This is where all the macro photography is happening. And I don't know if you can see in the camera over there behind me, the red barn that is my studio. Today we wanna talk about exposure blending. And I do this pretty much every time I take a landscape photo. Exposure blending is when you take three images at different exposures and uh, then you take them into your editing software and blend them in such a way where you choose which exposure you want for which part of your image. Now, I did this using my uh, camera setting exposure bracketing. When you go into your camera setting, find exposure bracketing. And then I chose three photos at two thirds of a stop difference between the exposures. You can do this if you do not have it in your uh, camera settings. You can just do it by putting your camera on a tripod and then just changing the shutter speed to get a perfectly exposed image, an underexposed image, and an overexposed image. Now let's go to the computer and see how we can achieve exposure blending in Luminar Neo. Here we are into Luminar Neo, and this is our three exposure. This is the correctly exposed image, this is the darker exposure, and this is our brighter exposure. Now I am going to go back to catalog and we will edit the normal exposure. So for that, I will go to edits, and as you can see, this is a raw file, we have developed raw, and I will start from the top to the bottom. First thing I want to do is to add a little bit of smart contrast. Maybe I'll take down the highlights just a tiny little bit and open the shadows a little bit. Something like that. The next thing I would like to do is to shift the color temperature to a warmer tone. So I'll go with something around 50, um, 55,000 Kelvin, uh, something like that looks better. So I think that's all I will do here. Maybe increase the vibrance. We'll, we'll add plus 16 for vibrance. And that's it for develop. Next thing I want to do is work with color. So I will go to color. And here I will start with the hue. I want to turn some of this uh, seaweed oranges, more a little bit more orange, more warmer tones. They have a little bit too much green to it. So I will turn the yellows a little bit more towards orange, the orange a little bit more towards red. Something like that looks better to me. Next, I want to go into the saturation and I want to desaturate the blues into the sky and the water because I feel like they're a little bit too saturated and that's from me using a polarizer. So I will go with something like that. But I do want to increase saturation into the yellows and oranges because the seaweed is, in my opinion, the thing that really attracts my eye in there. So we'll go to something like that. Next, we'll move on to luminance. And the first thing I want to do is take the luminance down on the sky and the water. That's going to make it uh, on the blue. That was going to make it more dramatic, something like that. And then I will increase the luminance into the seaweed and, you know, we'll do the oranges and the yellows will increase the luminance. And something like that looks good to me. What else do I want to do? I will get out of the color and maybe we'll go into landscape. Went to the landscape adjustments. I will add some golden hour that will further enhance our golden tones. Something like that. And I will add a little bit of foliage enhancer. Don't go too far. If you go to 100, uh, you end up with these neon greens. So just a little bit goes a long way. Something like that. And that is looking great. What else can we do? I will get out of landscape. And this time I will go into erase. And make sure I do a remove dust spots. Just in case there are some dust spots that are hiding there. And I cannot see them. And that should take care of that. Great, our dust spots are removed and now I will close my erase tool and I will go back into catalog. And this time, well, first of all, let's look at our edited image. This is our before, this is the after, before and after. I think we improved it by a lot. So now we can go to catalog and we have our edited image and I would right click on it, go to adjustments and copy adjustments. Now I will go and click on my darker exposure, hold down command and click on my lighter exposure. And now with both of them selected, I will right click on it, go to adjustments and paste adjustments. 
and this will paste our adjustments that we did these edits that we did in this image so all three of them will be edited exactly the same with the same tones and colors there we go now with these two still selected i do want to export them into my uh, desktop because later i want to import them back as layers into luminar neo to do so i will go to edit make sure they're still selected and go to export and i'll just put them onto my desktop click save and now with our images exported onto our desktop we can go back to the original image that we edited and go to edit and now it's time to bring in those two images into our layers to do so go to your layer and load image click on it i will choose the darker exposure and click open now the darker exposure shows up onto my images and double click on it to open it as a layer onto luminar neo now here is our darker exposure and this is a 50 percent you can increase it at 100 percent we'll keep it at 100 percent just for now and i want to mask this just in the sky and the water because i want to darken those a little bit so to do so i will go to masking and i will let's see how mask ai does if it recognizes the sky or the water let's see this is the sky and it's not a perfect mask it misses a lot around the trees and also around the horizon so i'm not going to use that click again on it to deselect and let's see how we did with the water the water is not bad so i will keep that selection so then i'll go back to masking and i will choose a brush and i will just paint with my brush on the sky just to add to that selection i will go a little bit into the island just so it's not very uh, so it's a better transition something like that maybe more over here and there you go now we have a lot more dramatic sky and water and looking at it it's a little bit too dark so i will take the opacity maybe just around 50 percent so this is before we added the second layer and this is with the layer we just darken it a little bit now we could use the brighter image we can bring it in go to load images and pick the brightest exposure click open and that will do the same thing that will open it into my images and then you can double click on it open it as a layer and now with this brighter layer selected i can just uh, go into masking and maybe just brush some onto this island just to brighten it up a little bit there we go so let's see our image before we started with this this is the before this is the after this is the before this is the after and this is how you do exposure blending i hope you learned something new and this was helpful to you thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing i'll see you in my next video